Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another Galactic Challenge video. Hope you had a relaxing weekend behind you and that you're looking forward to your week ahead. We all love Mondays, but first we have a brand new Galactic Challenge to take care of. Now this one we're actually on Planet of Coruscant, which has got an interesting modifier. We'll get to that later. We are up against Sith. As always, I'll cover the modifiers and defeats and then show you the battles here that can get you Red Crate quite easily. Three battles here for you in today's video. So first I'll do First Order on Tier 10 with no Supreme Kylo Ren. Then second one, just show you if you do have Supreme Kylo, this is going to be one very easy and straightforward challenge. And then finally we'll do the No Tank Street using CLS Rebels. So if you're just interested in the battles, you can skip through using YouTube chapters below as always. But otherwise, we'll just get into it. So the Power Struggle, that's the global modifier for Coruscant. So that's the one where you just have to defeat the enemy leader to win the battle but obviously if enemies defeat your leader you lose uh, so this is pretty much very simple and straightforward modifier in terms of the modifier for first order it's a bit of a funny one like you you lose critical chance whenever you gain advantage but then you gain critical damage so over time like your guys may start wrapping up a bit of damage which is nice i guess but you won't be getting as many critical hits as we who are accustomed to when using first order the modifier for the safe is one of the weakest modifiers to be honest because unless they defeat one of your guys they don't really gain a whole lot of bonuses yeah when you do defeat one of their allies they gain some health and so on but it's nothing really to be scared about what is a bit scary actually it's not the modifiers themselves but they've got treya and you know what that means treya every time you debuff those guys she's getting lots of bonus protection and because of nihilus lead all the protection is turned into health and bonus protection is based on health so she will have lots of bonus protection obviously uh because of her unique you can't like stun lock somebody they will keep cleansing off whenever they get a turn and also she gets stacking offense when you're debuffing uh, those guys as well so definitely taking out treya here will be your number one priority obviously if you don't have supreme the kylo ren so i'll show you how you can get around it with first order more about it later let's first look at the feats as mentioned before we have to use first order units to get max rewards win with no tanks in your squad and finally win without losing a unit so very straightforward feats this time so speaking now of finally let's get to the mechanics here and mods uh, you will need specific turn order for order this uh, to work. I'll talk about it as I'm showing you the mods. I'm going on with Hux lead just because uh, with his leadership we get counter attacks and so on. But most importantly, uh, basics will deal extra damage, which will be nice. Crucial that we can burn through Treya very, very quickly. Uh, so the team that I'm going up against, as you can see, is here. No Sith Trooper. He's not very useful here. You need uh, here uh, units that can either boost turn meter to the team or remove turn meter or do both, actually. Um, so Sith Trooper doesn't do really do any of that. Um, so here I'm just starting off with Hux. As mentioned before, Hux needs to be your second fastest unit. So mine's clocked at 292. Obviously, he's got his mass assist and bonus turn and things like that, as we know. Moving on, so actually, Color and Mask should be your fastest unit because you will need him uh, to use his halt ability to remove pre taunt from Sith Empire Trooper so then you can go ahead and mass assist on Treya with Hux. So, Kylo Ren and Mask first. Hux second. Uh, Kaloran, you know, it doesn't matter. He can be slower um, because he'll gain bonus turn meter from other guys anyway to begin with. I just modded him here for offense because you just keep spamming his AoE over and over again that can't critically hit anyways. Uh, so hopefully we can do a little bit more damage on those AoEs. And on top of it all, his AoE, AoE will be giving uh, turn meter to your team constantly. So once you get your turn, turn meter train rolling, you should be good to go. First order executioner, he's a key component to this team. So he's kind of the replacements for Sith Trooper really here. I actually have him modded for potency, which is not how you should be modding your first order executioner because his damage is based kind of on health. So you really want to have lots of health of him. But for this particular challenge, you do want to mod him for potency because his special attack removes turn meter from the enemy so this will be important that we can uh in the opening sequence really control the enemy so we can get our place going before they get to do much and he's unique there whenever we, he does score a critical hit uh, first order allies will be gaining some turn meter as well so he's removing turn meter from the target with his special and anytime he crits even when hux calls him for assist and things like that uh, he then will be feeding turn meter to your team 
And finally, uh, first order officer, he needs to be your third unit to go. Uh, so mine's clocked at 291. Also modded for potency because his spinning shot uh, not only uh, reduces cooldowns uh, on your first order ally, so you can quickly get through your uh, special abilities over and over again, but also can remove turn meter. And any turn me if any turn meter was removed, then your guys are gaining turn meters. Definitely also heavy modded for some potency as well, just to make sure that pinning shot keeps removing turn meter. All right, we are finally ready for the battle. Now there's a bit of RNG here. Um, so you want one of the three starting sequences. So I'm just showing you the starting sequence you do not want. Uh, you remove the, the tones there. You mass assist over on Treya. The Nihilus gets a bonus turn and increases cooldowns on your first order officer. That's not what you want. So you want one of the three things. Uh, so I'll show you three different starts. Again, removing pre taunt You do mass assist on Treya. Some test Nihilus with starts with basic. If that happens, you can go ahead and proceed with the battle. All right, good start number two. Sometimes what will happen is that uh, Nihilus, when he gains bonus turn meter, will not jump ahead over your first order officer. In that case, you can again remove turn meter uh, from Assassin, remove turn meter from Executioner, and then you can get your place going. And then the third uh, start RNG that you may also encounter that can work in your favor. Uh, is that here Nihilus did not increase cooldowns on first order officer and this is important because then first order officer gets a turn after Hux remember he's your third fastest unit you can use spinning shot which now uh, reduces the cooldowns on all your allies so you kind of offset the cooldown increase from Nihilus so one of these three stars that I show you that I happen now then you're kind of good to proceed with the battle uh, so this guy want to start uh, remove the pre from Sif Empire Trooper then uh, Hugs does mass assist on Treya, and then first order officer pin shot uh, over on Sif Assassin, and then executioner here. I can push back now Treya's turn meter, do an AoE, more turn meter for the team, passing turn over to officer, then he can pass turn back uh, over to Hux. Because you know Hux and first order officer, they have to get as many turns as possible, and then just go all out on Treya. Anytime you debuff, yeah, she'll be getting bonus protection, but you know, you should be able to burn for that quite quickly. There we go, another message is got Treya down in the yellow, which now obviously triggered at the taunt on Sif Empire Trooper. Executioner can go ahead and dispel that, and I'm just keep going after Treya. Almost got her down. They get a few plays going because Hux has advantage there. When Sif Assassin uses special ability, there was no bonus turn meter. Let's pass turn back over to Executioner. Uh, sorry, Officer. He reduces turn meter uh, on Treya. Boost turn meter to your team. Again, removing there uh, the taunt over on Sif Empire Trooper. Mass assist on Treya. Down she goes. They recovered some health. That's fine. Nihilus did a drain. And as soon as Treya is down, these guys are very easy to handle because color and mask two turn stun cannot be resisted and obviously without treya there's no more passive cleansing going on uh, so you just have to kind of a little bit uh, work around the taunts here bet um, between sif and power trooper and cyan as soon as you get like kind of stun locks on everybody you're good to go again removing uh, their taunt from sif and power trooper all right let's uh, go ahead uh pass turn over to kylo reset cooldown get a stun as well over on uh, nihilus because hux if he has advantage when he uses his uh, bonus turn ability he, if he has advantage he will also reset cooldown on your first order allies so you can kind of use that to constantly be resetting cooldowns either on first order officer if you need some more turn meter or you just pass it over to color and mask so he can keep stun locking everybody so we go again resetting cooldowns on color and mask got their stun on sign as well um still a bit stuck behind a taunt every now and then but otherwise just keep going after analyst you can just ignore the other guys because you just have to defeat the leader because of the modifier here for Coruscant and you're good to go now uh, we go again we got a taunt there and Stephen empire trooper so let's go ahead and dispel that there we go all right another taunt let's dispel that aoe more turn meter for your team let's just get rid of the pain on uh, executioner so he's not stuck behind the taunt of sign perpetually 
Uh, let's get a stun over as well on Sif Assassin. So all, all the sides kind of now stunned, so we can just keep hammering Nalos. We don't have to worry about anybody anymore. And that's it, pretty much. You don't need color and mask. In terms of relics, I guess you would need relic, relic these guys so they can survive a few AoEs. Maybe gear 12 would be enough. I don't know. Uh, let me know, guys. Give it a go. My old guys are relic top, so I can't test with lower gear. But as soon as you get Treya down in that opening sequence, as I've shown, is a pretty straightforward match. Hey, if you got Supreme Color Ren, no stress, just throw in Supreme Color Ren and you can pretty much kill Nihilus very, very quickly. Uh, obviously, I use Color Ren and Mass there. Um, you can use one of the other uh, guys, one of the attackers, so then you can get all feats done in a single battle. Uh, but I wasn't really uh, thinking here straight about the no tanks feat. I'm like, let's just throw in Supreme Color Ren and get this done. So you can see, you just go straight for Nihilus, you just ignore everybody else. Um, Nihilus there, barely hanging on an AoE and that should finish off their Nihilus for you. Okay, so first order battles out of the way. Uh, we've got now the no tanks feat. Um, many ways to do this one, I guess, but I just found the easiest one is just to use CLS. You can ignore taunt, hunt shoots first, right? And uh, you can then just basically almost one shot Nihilus out of the gate. Command the look there. Uh, he just called to action. He ignored the taunt and just finish off Nihilus for you. And that's pretty much it. There you go. Let's go. Go after Nihilus, boom, 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 got him in the yellow, call to action, we can ignore the taunt, do a big hit of Nihilus, and boom, down he goes, that's your no tank speed done. And that's it guys, that's all the battles here I wanted to show you today. Again, it's a straightforward thing, even if you don't have Supreme the Color, and a bit of RNG obviously to get one of those free starts that I talked about in the beginning. But, you know, as long as you get those turn meter removals going, you can keep your turn meter train rolling. You should be good to go. Again, depending on gear levels, what tier you will be able to complete. Uh, but no matter what tier, obviously, you can use the same mechanics that I showed you here uh, with Huxley and all those boys. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, have fun, enjoy your life, and may the RNG be with you, my friends.